like a inner squad scrimmage as many times as you guys have faced each other. Just talk to me, talk to me about today's matchup. Well, I mean, it's our fourth time match that we Hampton this year. A tough, tough opponent. We know everything about them. They know everything about us. We knew it was going to be a grinded out game. Uh, I thought the tempo favored us tonight to, to keep our bench limited. Uh, we didn't have to do a lot of subbing because uh, we're not a deep team. Uh, but I thought uh, the kids uh, showed some resiliency. They fought uh, down 12 early. Didn't phase us. We've been down before, even against them. We just needed to buckle down and defend. I thought our kids did a great job second half adjusting. It was an intense game, you know, a lot of pressure on us, you know, holding it down, you know, the rivalry and whatnot. But um, we held down who we were supposed to do and came with the win. I mean, we knew it was going to be a hard fought game. City rivalry and Hampton versus Bethel. Just going to be a tough game. What was the turning point in this game, Cole? It's defense. Uh, you know, we, we, we held them. I think it was two-minute mark in the third quarter. They only had one point. Uh, so we got some stops defensively, and, and DeJore was protecting the rim a little bit more than he did early in the game. Uh, we got a little better flow offensively, moving the ball a little bit better. Got some uh, transition baskets, and that helped us get some separation. Coach Brown, he preaches play defense, and that's what we did, and that's how we got back in the game. It's, it's just a mental thing, you know. It's, we know what they were doing, and they gave us the best half they could, and we turned it up. What was the objective for tonight's game? Well, we were concerned about seeding. Uh, we wanted to obviously win this game and go sad in and win that game and, and be a top seed in, in our conference. Uh, so that was really what it was tonight. Obviously, also pride. Uh, anytime you play Hampton High School, great program, great tradition. We wanted to show up tonight, and, and I thought our kids did just that. Uh, it was a, a, a tell of two halves for you. The first half, you know, it seemed like you weren't like really into the game. Second half, you were the most dominant thing out there. What was the switch for you? I wanted to win. It's simple as that. I mean, in the beginning, it was like I, I took them lightly, and at the end, you know, I just dominated. Each game presents a different challenge. Each win gives you more confidence. What's the confidence level of this team right now? Well, chemistry's good. Uh, the kids know uh, what they can do. They know what uh, our strengths are, our weaknesses are. We've been playing to those all year long. Uh, we just got to stay together, uh, share the basketball, obviously just play hard-nosed defense, be physical on the end of the floor, and, and, and things will, will work out for us, will be good for us. So I'm just proud of this team's effort, uh, the, the way they've bonded this year, come together, uh, play hard on both ends of the floor, and that's why we've had success. And right now, we're just staying humble because, you know, anything can happen, and we're just, you know, keeping a level head and the mindset. As long as, as long as we go do what we're supposed to do, you know, we're not going to slip up. Uh, although you've won, as a coach, you got to say there are some areas we need to work at. What are those areas, Coach? Well, we, we got stagnant the first half. We were trying to do it uh, individual, uh, trying to beat, you know, our man off the dribble, and obviously Hampton was in position to defend that. Uh, once we started sharing the ball, getting some movement on the offensive end of the floor, we were able to get some better looks, easier looks, and uh, it helped us tonight in that situation. What did you want to do out there today? Or get all rebounds, no no second opportunities, and just one shot. That's all it is. Now, there's another guy in the team, um, uh, Jeremiah. It seems like he's the guy that, you know, you need a clutch rebound, boom, you need a clutch shot, boom, you want somebody to defend, he's there. Talk about that guy real quick. Uh, he's the, the motor of the team. He, you know, he's the athletic, strong guy who, you know, he gets the job. So he's just the angel. Okay. With the possibility of facing this Hampton team for a fifth time this season, what do you guys do to prepare to not only take on the next round, but you know, you know they're somewhere down the road. What do you guys do to prepare? Well, we, we both, just like Eric, have to have some different nuances, uh, things we haven't seen, some wrinkles that they haven't seen us do, and I'm sure they'll do the same thing likewise, uh, because we've scouted each other uh, to a T. We know their, their tendencies and, and their weaknesses and strengths and likewise. And so we just have to throw some things out there that are a little different to give us a chance to, uh, to get some easier uh, opportunities next time we play them. How important is it for you from this point on to just be the dominant figure out there? You're the biggest one out there, own the post, anything in the paint, own. How, how, what is it going to take for you to, to step up to that challenge each night now? I mean, I'm, I'm stepping up already. It's just the fact that I just got to be mentally prepared all the time and don't slack off. No play.